In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at some tips for using the equalizer in the audio editor or wave editor, depending on your version of PowerDirector, to apply changes to an audio track when it's narration or voiceover. There are some limitations to working with the human voice that actually mean you don't have to make a lot of changes to make it sound a little bit crisper, a little less muddy, a little less hollow. And so we're going to look at a track that needs some help here in a tutorial I made for another program. Let's listen to a couple of moments of it. Your options are default at icon and text. If you click on icon only, you see the image Okay, I'd like to make some changes. They don't have to be massive. Let's see what we can do with a simple tool. I'm going to highlight the clip and in PowerDirector 17, I click on Tools and choose Audio Editor. You may choose Wave Editor in yours. Then I come up with a screen. Yours will look approximately like this, depending on your version. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't scalable. So it's cut off at the bottom a little bit. But one of the things I want to do is I need to change the clipping. That's what the yellow marks are. And the clipping is basically the volume's too hot. So what we're going to do is going, going to lower the gain. All I need to do is move the mouse to the volume area at the bottom. It'll be a two-headed arrow. And then I slowly drag down until the yellow disappears and there I've taken away the clipping and so it looks pretty good. Now we can apply this either to the entire clip or we can select a range within the clip that we can modify but in this case uh, no matter where the playhead is we'll apply it to the entire clip. So what I'd like to do is get on my equalizer you'll find that in the category of adjustments in your software so I'll click on equalizer and here we have our effects equalizer we have the opportunity to see hear the original or hear the applied result and we can preview it very easily. I'm going to click on the original and preview it. Welcome to this tutorial in ProPresenter 6 brought to you by the Sharper Turtle. Okay now let's let's click on applied result we're going to hear the changes. A couple things that you do often with the human voice is you can lower the low end here the bass. Bass is roughly from 0 to 100 Hertz and the human voice normally doesn't produce very many sounds in that range so you can effectively lower it. The other advantage is if you perhaps have some outside traffic or a furnace that kicks in these are normally in this low range and simply by lowering these down as far as you can go you will cut out some of those extraneous noises and you won't affect the quality of the human voice. The other thing you can do, this is called kind of a low pass filter. We can do a high pass filter as well. Normally again the human voice uh, will not be anything over 12 to 14 kilohertz. So here I have an over 16. I don't need that. And I don't have a 12 but I have an 8. I might want to leave that the way it is or if I want to I can actually lower it a little bit and put a curve in this case. I could also take this one here and curve this one down as well, just a little bit on this end. And let's hear what it sounds like with the applied result. The, the difference might not be all that obvious to many of you, uh, but it will take out some of the muddiness, some of the boxy sounds perhaps, and let's click on it and listen. Welcome to this tutorial in ProPresenter 6, brought to you by the Sharper Turtle where our goal is to help you master your software one step at a time. Let's listen to the original. Welcome to this tutorial in ProPresenter 6, brought to you by the Sharper Turtle. Where our you notice that, that the, there's a crispness, there's a clarity to the applied result by just taking out the, the low area and the high area and cutting it off. And then when we're done, uh, we simply click on apply. Now there are some experts that I've listened to on the internet who recommend that there are some frequencies sometimes in the 250 range to 300 range where you might want to make a slight dip just very subtle like 
that in order to change it, but I'm not going to do that in this case. We'll leave that one the way it is. When you're done, you simply click Apply, and then you, you close the audio editor by clicking in the upper right corner, and it asks you if you want to cha save the changes. I will do that, and what it will do is it will create a different file. Here we have the audio editor equalizer applied, and now let's listen in our final version of this. No descriptor. If you right click again you can choose the text only if you don't want to look at the icons. We'll default back to both icon and text. So this makes some subtle changes that you might find useful if you're doing a lot of narration or voiceover in your version of CyberLink PowerDirector.